truth shall be thy shield. Only for the people who are really hurt. I thought I was really hurt. Oh, you're wrong. No, I asked him to come over, but Dr. Spander does agree with me, sir. We've got to do something about them. Yes, what? Good day, Doctor. General Oakcroft, we have no more space and we have no more supplies. And uh, since a prisoner of war has more chance than no chance at all, I have a mind to ask the Germans to accept our wounded into their hospitals if we could arrange evacuation. Have I your permission to try? Certainly, if Weaver agrees. But I hardly think the Germans will. Those are our guns out there. That's 30 Corps. I don't think my permission is going to be a major problem. Sir. I've come with a message from General Urquhart, sir. Are you managed that? I swam the Rhine, sir. I'm afraid the radio is all up the spout. The General asks if you'll get your men across the river. Now, we've been holding up for six days now, and uh, with any help at all will be of considerable assistance. You swim back with a reply? Uh, we can't swim. Not with equipment. We have small rubber boats. That's all. Well, I'm afraid rubber dinghies may uh, be a bit flimsy for the right. Yeah, I agree. Agree. Tell the general we're coming. We're coming tonight. Yes, sir. Tylko dwóch do jednej głosu.
Jesus. Not possible. If you would just say yes, it would be very possible. Forgive me, but there's a battle. And we are in the process of winning it. Winning and losing is not a concern. Uh, living or dying is. Uh, ceasefire. One hour, two. Just to evacuate our wounded. Afterwards, you can kill us as much as you want to. General Ludwig. <laughs> 